Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever. In the last episode, we set up our first airports and our first transport aircraft. And we are following one of those aircraft right now as it comes in for a landing at the, I guess what I'm calling the Lumois City Airfield. And we'll watch it come on in here. We set up a set of our first actual electric um, passenger train as well. With a couple of electric passenger wagons that are going to be hopefully ferrying passengers back and forth to the airfield. So far... There's nobody here. But that may change. And there is one of our electric wagons. Right now. So. Let's kind of let that kind of set in. And we need to decide what it is that we're going to be doing next. So. I mean, we've been doing a lot of passenger work um, recently. So we could go back to start working on some freight. Uh, we're definitely going to have some old lines here. If we take a look at age. Our iron ore line is getting fairly old. 32 years old. And... That is, we're really not moving a ton of iron ore. Well, I mean, we're moving some. I mean, we could potentially put something else on there. But, but it's there's no real need to upgrade it. So, let's just take a look at its finances. There have been times where it has been profitable, but not many. As you can see, the expenses have been climbing. Uh, let me just go ahead and take a look at it. Let's see, right now we have the GWR 060-2301s on there. Which are these. They cost 141000 per year to operate. Obviously, this will be much more than it currently is because it's, it's such an old train. Cable of a top speed is 65, 476 horsepower. Uh, we did get some new trains. We keep a uh, Great Western on here. Or I could go to like a superheated consolidation and set that's going to be a really expensive train. I don't want to use something that's going to cost much more than what we're currently using. We could start electrifying some of our... 1.38 million per year. Good grief, that's an expensive locomotive to run. Um, at least compared to what we currently have. 237, 789 horsepower, 90 kilometers an hour. Class 75. So that's a German locomotive.
Oh, let's just go with that. And we need something that carries iron ore, because this is the only thing that this is going to carry. So it's none of these, because none of these uh, stake cars or flat cars are going to work. We need something that's like an open. I think they're currently using like these early gondolas. This is a standard open wagon. Yeah, let's go ahead and replace those. Do it. And steel to sector seven is also a fairly old vehicle. It's using five early gondolas. That is this line here. Right. And it needs to carry our iron ore, it needs to carry coal, it needs to carry slag, and it needs to carry steel. Let's see, what, what kind of locomotive was that currently using? That, the 2301 as well. Let's use this Prussian instead. And for wagons, coal, iron ore, and slag. Uh, let's put four of those on there. And... Forty foot flat car? Uh, something that's relatively cheap. Just a steak car. Carry the steel. One, two, three, four. Replace that vehicle. There you go. Those are two, our two oldest lines. Gone ahead and done some upgrades there. All right. In terms of our finances, we made 22 million last year. We're down a bunch right now, but hopefully that'll resolve. We just spent 15 million in new vehicles. Now, eventually, I do want to get an airport over here once we begin working on the transport network in this particular area of the map. But I'll probably hold off on that for a little bit. Um, probably we want to start working on some freight over in this part of the... this part of the map. And decide what it is we will want to do for an initial freight line. We have some options. Let's see, we have an oil refinery here. We just need an oil well somewhere. Which there's an oil refinery as well. Not sure where I had an oil well. There's an oil well. Okay. So we could bring oil down here to the refinery and do fuel, which would be a fairly simple process. 
or we have a food processing. We have a cattle ranch. And we have a couple of farms. We have a dairy farm. Food processing. Hmm. I think food processing may be an interesting idea here. So, let's see, we would grab, perhaps, some grain. Bring it to the cattle ranch, and then bring the cattle up here to the food processing plant. And then bring the food back for distribution to the cities. I mean, we can even run a, just a direct truck line from the food processing into Pallet Town. You know, I like that idea. Let's go ahead and work on it. Alright, so that means we would need freight. And I guess we would do a freight hub out here. And this would probably be also a major distribution center. Still no passengers? Nope, still no passengers on the airline. Oh, I also still want to come through here and hook up a little, f um, some of these little, uh, lines into Rand Grease and Pallet Town. You know that they couldn't get here, but they'd have to kind of go through a bit of a uh, convoluted route to get there. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see here. We're going to go for a freight station. We're going to want it to have two lines initially. We want it to be 400 meters long. We're going to say yes. We're going to electrify this station. Design era. 1850 is the only design area we have. Oh, that's the wrong button. Right, do we want to bring it close into the cattle ranch? I think so. Actually, let's give a little bit of space. Oh, and I keep hitting the wrong... I keep hitting B. B is for bulldoze. That's not what we want to do. I think we're going to electrify all of this track. Because we're going to be using electric freight trains. And I think what I'm going to do... Is we're going to remove a 
bunch of this road. And I want to go for a bridge. Turn the bridge there. I'm going to go for stone. Sure. I kind of want to make this a bit of a gentle transition, somewhat. At some point, we are going to want to get this to be level. Oh, that almost looks like it's coming down a little bit, but... like that. So that should give us a lot of room to kind of bring tracks under the bridge. Especially even after we extend or expand this station as needed. Now one of the problems is this is probably going to collide. Yes it is. Alright, so you're going to have to curve a little bit coming out of here. Too much slope. Really? No. There you go. Alright, so... I think we're going to use that... Grain farm. I'm just going to see how I want to do this. We're going to come out of here. We're going to have to probably go elevated. Cross these guys. Come back down. Swing over here. Perhaps elevate over this track as well. Come in here. New vehicle superheated Atlantic, but there is no icon for it. And the M300, that may be a multi-unit. For the time being, this only needs a single track. This only needs a single track. I think we're going to come in over here. Hopefully, this will be in catchment. Yes, it is. Good.
Alright, I just kind of need to eyeball where things are going to be. Okay, let's put a little bit more curve on that. Try and come at this kind of like that angle. And then we'll bring the double track around the outside of the curve. So let's see what we can do here. Get that track elevated. Let's go with the, the box girder. We haven't really used it much. here. I think we're going to stay pretty much straight. I come out to about here, right as that forest starts. Any collisions from the second track, which we shouldn't. There we go. Alright, so then it should just be a matter of uh, getting a nice sweeping piece of track to hook those two up. So, yeah, that's going to be food, or grain. Coming in here to the cattle ranch. We're going to need names for these things. And then we're going to need to bring that all the way up there. some of this line but actually it is one of the things I want to do here as well so let me let me just add this in
So I really want to go... Um, yeah. Yeah, that should actually be fine. Can I actually get you to just merge? Yes. Just so that I see where this track is going to be. And where the signals are going to be. Obviously you're going to need one there. And we're going to need one there. Probably need one down there. And there, probably. Okay. He's coming down here and either merging into this line or at least using it. bridge. Hmm. Don't want a quad track coming up to here. If I bring quad track and up to here, it's going to get really goofy. I may have to merge. Oh, I have to create... I want to be running a freight train through a passenger station. That doesn't seem like it would be a good idea. Hmm. You know what? Let's quad track it and then I'll sort out what's going to happen down there when we get there. Get it to snap. Can, can, can you snap, please? Apparently not. No. Um, Alright, then we'll, we'll do it manually then. Electrical to, uh, to all this at some point. Until we get under that bridge. And I, uh, actually, let me back that up a little bit. And 
here's what I think we do. Merge this over. That's a bit odd. Why would it dip down like that? Hold on, let me let me redo that. Cause something strange happened here. All right, well let's uh. Let's merge a bit further back here, then. on these guys. Alright, and then over here... That's a bit more than I wanted to do, but eh, sorry. is split off construction not possible Why did you lump that? Uh, let's do it this way. It's not perfect. No, it's definitely not perfect. It's all kinds of lumpy. Try it again. Why are you not lining up? snapped to that track, right? So I want to be following the same curve. Same vertical curve and horizontal curve. Right? You want to stay together. Stay together. All the way in. I can clean that up.
Alright, well, that's, that's probably going to have to be the best I can do. Let's see if I can smooth out these little bumps. There we go. Oh, we have a couple more. Get rid of those. All right. Okay, so... This is going to be the interesting bit. Figuring out how this is going to work. Alright, so let's not curve that in just yet. Terrain alignment collision. Stay with the same bridge stop, but we're going to stay low. Oh, there's something goofy going on there. 90? No, we need, we need a better... We need the better bridge style there. I think we're aiming to shoot through. Just shoot through right about there. There we go. Okay. It just fits. Okay. I think we're, we're running a little bit long here. But I think that'll work. I mean, the other thing I could have done is come up and over. I may have to redesign this a slight bit, but for now that'll work. Alright, so yeah. We'll finish this off, I think, when we come back next episode. Get the trains on it, and then start, hopefully, moving some goods. And then start getting some food out to our cities. Alright, so, for now, we'll end it here. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.